I get to work every day on things that I care about, with people that I care about, and for reasons that I care about. I spend every day laughing, connecting, sometimes crying, with people that are doing their heart's work, their soul's purpose in the world. How did I end up getting to do that? <laughs> A lot of people in my life would say I'm courageous, and that's true. But the identity that I've stepped into and that I invite many of these people on a journey with me on is fearlessness. And fearlessness is the knowing that anything that is in front of me, I am ready for. And more than that, fearlessness allows us to be free. Freedom is when we are able to run towards anything that we love and walk away from anything that needs to go. So fearlessness means that I'm not worried about the consequence or the outcome that might happen if I show up with my true self. When I see this in my clients, that looks like showing up to a meeting on a topic that they've done a ton of research on, where their expertise is, where they care about making a change within their organization, and being able to express that regardless of who they're in the room with. Fearlessness looks like having the conversation with your loved one about something that you really need or want that you haven't been able to express yet. Because you know that regardless of the outcome of the conversation, and we do want to prepare and have skills and tools for those conversations, we know regardless of the outcome, we're okay in ourselves. In order to be fearless, we must be self-held people. We must know that all of our needs, our sense of safety, our security, our confidence, our well-being is housed within us. Everything else is a bonus. So anything else I want to run towards fearlessly, I imagine running through a field barefoot, hair flowing, anything else I want to run towards is a bonus. And anything that's not resonating with me, that doesn't feel well to my core self, is safe for me to walk away from without guilt or hesitance. I'm inspired by the people that I get to work with and journey on life on. Because as I watch them become more and more fearless, take back more and more of their personal sovereignty, I see them actually have a greater impact and positive influence on the people around them. And while I do preach a lot of selfishness, and I can rub some people the wrong way with that, what I know and what I see is that the more selfish that people are, the more impact they're actually able to make. As I watch people become more true to themselves, own their own desires, own their own gifts, and feel confident in their own superpowers, their ability to inspire those around them, their ability to enact change, and more importantly, their ability to just simply enjoy their own life and be satisfied in their own existence grows and grows. At the end of my career, I hope I get to look back on thousands and thousands of people who are more fearless, more capable of being their true self because they met me.